Usually elephants behave calmly and move slowly across the savanna in search of food. These predators decided that this behavior is a sign of weakness. Huge mistake. The elephant shows that he is alone is like a whole army. Now we are going to show you other amazing cases when animals have shown that it is better not to mess with them. Elephants behave especially brutally in order to protect loved ones. Yes, they have very developed family ties. Therefore, when a whole pride of lions, despite the numerical advantage, bravery, and strength, attacked the baby elephant, it was a big mistake. They messed with the wrong elephant. The female went on the attack and literally scattered a whole group of lions. They fought desperately to save the cub and managed to recapture it from the enemies. But if you think this is the end of the story, that is where you're wrong. It turns out that elephants' amazing memory can be a problem. The female remembered the stress of the experience. And when the lions were quietly eating their lunch, she attacked them first. It's hard to say whether it was purposeful revenge or the elephant just wanted to drive the pride from her pasture. But in any case, she achieved her goal. The lions had to run in different directions, just not to get hit by this live, battering ram weighing several tons. So to run over an elephant means not only to get a serious beating right on the spot, but also to obtain a dangerous enemy. These lions definitely regretted that they once got involved with this elephant. The tiger is used to dangerous challenges. He often hunts buffaloes, which are three times heavier than him. But here the striped predator clearly did not calculate the strength when he attacked the elephant. Although the Indian species of these huge animals is slightly smaller than the African, they are still the largest land animals on the planet. The tiger's attack made no impression on the elephant. He does not even think of running away or going on the defensive. What for? With a mass of more than three tons, an elephant is 12 times heavier than the tiger. Therefore, the herbivore immediately turns 180 degrees and with lightning speed goes on the attack as soon as it notices the enemy. The tiger is shocked by such a meeting. He has to run away. The wild boar is a relative of the domestic pig. But in a fight between them, we know who you're betting on. Of course, the boar, with its powerful fangs, almost impenetrable skin, and ferocious temper. He can put a larger horse to flight and withstand a shot from a gun almost at point-blank range. However, that would be a mistake. Here, the boar decided to take out his evil temper on the pig but did not take into account that there is a very thick layer of adipose tissue under its smooth skin. It acts as no less effective protection than a hard hide and does not miss a single blow. It seems that a pink pig with floppy ears and short legs is defenseless against the rage of a boar. But all the blows of a wild beast slip off the skin of a pig. And then the pig goes into a counterattack and makes the wild boar run. Mass advantage is a great argument for winning. You don't expect such a fury from a domestic pig, do you? The boar doesn't either, and he paid for it. Each of these dogs is larger than a monitor lizard and is better armed with fangs and claws. There are four dogs. It seems that the fate of the reptile is predetermined, but the dogs contacted the wrong opponent. The monitor lizard takes off from its place, literally like a miniature projectile. He does not allow himself to be completely surrounded and is the first to rush into the attack. He chose one of the dogs and pounces on it with incredible malice. It is difficult to make out something behind the cloud of dust that two animals raised during the battle. But it turned out that the monitor lizard survived, and his brave maneuver allowed him to knock down the attacking rush of the dogs and escape from their surroundings. Usually, the zebra's only chance to survive an attack by a large predator is escape. But these striped ungulates clearly went to self-defense courses. 
Just look at how cool they defended themselves. There is everything here. A back kick, a throw over the shoulder, and suppression of the opponent on the ground. Martial arts experts, how do you like these techniques performed by the zebra? Share your opinion in the comments. A crocodile can drag a wildebeest, which weighs like a small motorcycle, under the water. What is some kind of makaki for this reptile? A pack of chips? <laughs> not even. The crocodile made a mistake in choosing an opponent. He did not know that these primates have really indomitable courage and at the same time try to take care of each other to the last moment. The crocodile grabbed one monkey. However, not only the pack did not run away, but attacked the reptile to repel a relative. A hail of hits fell on the crocodile. Maybe two or three macaques couldn't hurt him, but there were too many of them. The crocodile had to let go of the prey. Such dedication and loyalty to the family deserves your like, doesn't it? This leopard cub was completely defenseless against an adult cruel hyena. The kid was waiting for his mother to return from hunting and could only hope that the enemy would not notice him in the thicket. Unfortunately, the disguise did not help. The hyena noticed the prey and rushed to the baby. Only she underestimated this kitten. Of course, he couldn't fight the hyena, but he could run away. Although leopards are not known for endurance, if their life is at stake, they will run for as long as necessary. At the very last moment, when the hyena's jaws almost close on the leopard's paws, the kitten managed to jump up a tree and escape. The people who were watching this scene couldn't help but applaud. And how would you behave in their place? Would you root for a hyena or vice versa? Would you try to save the kitten? Let me know in the comments. We are very interested in your opinion. Compared to a domestic cat, a tiger is a real titan. A cat could fit entirely in the mouth of its distant relative. It seems that the striped cat understands this and looks at the cat with disdain. In vain, the cat immediately reminds the giant which of them is in the cage. Most likely, this is another red cat, but he behaves no less cool. Instead of escaping, he takes a defensive stance to be able to fight with all four limbs. And this, despite the fact that his opponents are a pair of tigers. And this time, the cat is not protected by the bars of the cage. The tiger makes a tentative light strike. Of course, he could crush the cat, but he acts carefully. Why hurry? And when the tiger meets just a furious rebuff, the striped cat retreats. And the kid celebrates his victory. If he decided to lie here, then no giants would drive him away. It seems that he comes to the edge of the enclosure with a mute question in his eyes. Did you see that? Get this scumbag out of here. Cats are generally fine with assessing their own fighting qualities. They are often underestimated because of their relatively small size. But the camera lens gets phenomenal cases when cats showed who was the coolest fighter here. Of course, they don't have any special protection. They are small and vulnerable to the jaws and claws of a larger enemy. But the cat still needs to be caught. These animals are incredibly quirky and cunning. They can often lower the vigilance of a possible opponent to deliver an unexpected and insidious blow. And the clawed paws of a cat causes a lot of pain, even if they are not able to break large vessels in animals several times larger. And cats also know the weaknesses of their opponents and often aim at the eyes and other vulnerable points. In general, do not anger the seals, do not make this mistake. Gibbons with their cute faces, vegetarian diet, and long thin arms seem so cute. But it turns out to be a territorial animal that is trying to drive away any potentially dangerous creature from its land. 
even if we are talking about an adult tiger, and it looks pretty impressive. Gibbons can't really threaten tigers, but primates can annoy, pull, irritate. It goes down, beats the tiger, and immediately returns back to the thin branches for where it was. At the same time, the monkey seriously risks himself because the reaction of the striped predator is lightning fast. But the tiger made a mistake in choosing a resting place. The gibbon is too agile. They touch the tiger and immediately soar it up on the thin branches where a heavy cat could neither jump nor climb. At the same time, the scene looks as funny as it is cool. Chasing away a tiger with light slaps is an enviable skill. It seems that the gibbon is playing with the tiger, and the predator is against it and wants to rest in peace. So he leaves when he realizes that he will not be left alone here. But most likely the reason for this behavior of the primate is precisely his desire to force a dangerous predator to leave. However, it looks nice, especially because no one was really hurt. This lion did not try to attack the lioness. It apparently decided to play a joke on it and crept up to the sleeping female to make a gentle bite. But it didn't appreciate the humor. An angry female who has been prevented from sleeping is an opponent who should not be underestimated. Poor lion. Let his fate be a lesson for all of us. Probably, kangaroos seem cute to us because they are at the same time very different from us, and at the same time, thanks to the habit of standing straight and grabbing objects with their front paws hands, they are somewhat similar to us. Here too, although a dog is a friend of a person, you involuntarily begin to worry about the kangaroo. After all, the duck has already driven him into the water. So what will happen to the boar marsupial? It turns out that there is nothing wrong. He is not as defenseless as it may seem at first glance. It seems that going into the water is a part of his insidious plan. With one sharp movement, the kangaroo grabs the dog and begins to drown him. It seems as if an ordinary hunting scene has turned into a thriller. The kangaroo lifts its head away from the water, but its grip does not weaken, so the animal really resembles some kind of negative character who revealed his true nature at the very last moment. The dog, however, manages to escape, but it isn't likely that he will hunt kangaroos now. Probably this cobra was expecting an easy hunt when it got into the yard to people. Well, there are no mongooses nearby, nor is there a man with a gun. This means that both the chickens and their mother hen will become easy prey. Perhaps the snake thought so too, but he was wrong. The chicken decided that this yard needed a new hero. Some of them don't wear capes. They cackle and fuss, but at the right moment, they are the first to attack a dangerous enemy. It was this feat that was accomplished by the simplest chicken, which did not even try to take its offspring away from the yard. Instead, the self-confident bird calmly approaches the cobra, which could have stopped the heart of an adult elephant with just one bite. The snake is already shocked by this impudence, but this is just the beginning. Now the chicken will give such a beating to the reptile that the cobra will forever forget the way to this yard. Let the bird cannot resist the snake's venom, it still needs to be bitten. The chicken acts unexpectedly nimbly and leaves the cobra no chance to inflict a dangerous bite. Lions and tigers are different species, but they belong to the same family, the panthers. And although the structure of the skull and skeleton are almost the same, tigers are much larger, by about 10 to 15 percent. It's like the difference between boxers in different weight categories. Only when these tigers decided that the territory of the enclosure belonged to them completely, they were in for an unpleasant surprise. There is one lion and two tigers, but the mighty king of beasts does not care about it. Striped predators can be incredibly strong, but fighting skills and courage turned out to be the lion's trump cards. However, in the wild, the same lions and tigers cannot create married couples. 
Once their habitat coincided over a fairly large area in India, now there is only one reserve where they can theoretically meet each other. This is the Girski Forest. There will be no particularly tender feelings between them due to the differences in lifestyle and competition for food. But since tigers prefer dense thickets and lions like plains, they have to fight in exceptional cases. Therefore, it is usually those predators that are kept in captivity that will sort out the relationship. Here, big cats do not compete for food and share a rather cramped space. Tigers have a huge impact force and are able to break a horse's spine. Although the mane gives the lions a more impressive appearance, if we compare only muscle mass, they are inferior to tigers by much. But still the striped predator is forced to give up and retreat. He really shouldn't have attacked that lion. It was a big mistake to mess with such an incredible opponent. What is the secret of the victory of the King of Beasts? In combat skills, the lion strikes more accurately. His mane plays the role of natural armor. In addition, this lion is more stable. The tiger tries to dominate, rises on its hind legs, and attacks from above. It would have made another opponent run away in a panic, but the lion is too brave. And the fact that he retains at least three points of support and hits with one paw more than often than the other two, this allows him to throw opponents off balance during the offensive and force them to retreat and fall. And who are you rooting for in this fight? Answer in the comments. Mountain eagles are incredibly cool predators that are able to lift a mountain goat several times heavier than themselves, then drop their prey from a mountain ledge. And only then, enjoy lunch. But something has gone wrong here. This ungulate turned out to be too cool of prey, and the eagle is very clearly surprised. He did not expect such a rebuff. Yes, the goat falls, but the bird also falls with it. Their fight at a great height is exciting. A little more, and you might start to feel dizzy. Opponents fall again and again, but the goat does not lose its balance. Now he uses gravity as his ally. The ungulate with acceleration falls directly on the eagle, pinning it to the rock. I think something cracked, but we must give this bird its due. It is not let go of its grip and tries to continue the fight. Another mistake. The goat understands that the victim did not have enough cuffs, so he still throws off the predator and then runs away, and even tramples into the bargain. At the same time, the goat was gladly supported by a relative who also walked on the bird with sharp hooves. Today, the eagle will be left without lunch. Hippos are said to be the most dangerous animals in Africa. Although they seem pretty cute with their big noses, they are actually incredibly vicious critters. This is one of the few territorial herbivore species that fiercely defends their land, like some kind of saber-toothed tiger. A very thick layer of adipose tissue under a strong, smooth, and firm skin plays the role of an almost insurmountable armor. The fangs and claws of many predators just slip off of it. At the same time, the hippopotamus competes with the rhinoceros for the title of the second largest, strongest, and most massive land mammal on the planet after the elephant. To this set of advantages, you need to add huge fangs each as long as a pirate saber. With them, a hippopotamus can crush bones. In general, as you understand, these animals are doing well with self-confidence. Hippos just are not afraid of anyone. They dictate the conditions on their own territory. Hippos can attack a predator simply because it annoys them. This giant is absolutely not afraid of fighting and seems to be only happy about the opportunity to show his character. But at the same time, the hippopotamus fights very cruelly. He goes to ram, tries to trample, but first of all, it bites, crushes with its jaws, and pierces with its fangs. There are a lot of cases of attacks even on motorboats. 
The hippopotamus easily destroys the wooden hull of a small vessel, and he can also unexpectedly attack a herbivore, which certainly does not threaten him in any way. In general, this bully behaves like a real scumbag. As you understand, such self-confidence could not end well for him. Usually a hippo is not afraid of lions and does not try to escape. Instead, the giant goes on the attack himself. Well, we must admit, the beginning of the fight really took place according to the rules of the hippopotamus. Just look at the monstrous force with which he squeezed the lioness's head and his jaws. It seems like he could swallow her completely. But the strength of the lions is not really in the huge power of the blow or the jaws. By the way, their bite force is not so great. The jaguar bites better. No, the strength of the lions is in the pride. These lionesses can't handle a hippo? Well, seven predatory cats will take up the case then. Seven can't finish the job either? No problem, a male comes to their aid. There is a stereotype that male lions do not hunt. That's not the case. They simply do not sit in ambush as their mane immediately betrays a predator in any environment. But if the lionesses have surrounded too strong a prey, the male will definitely come to the rescue. Joint efforts have turned a giant ferocious hippopotamus from a horror movie for all the surrounding swamps into a hearty breakfast for the entire pride. Sometimes it happens that animal encounters with an unexpected ending do not look cruel at all, but rather cute. In general, otters should not be underestimated. They are pretty cool guys, especially if they attack in a pack. But this orangutan should not have been underestimated. At first, he retreats. The peaceful monkey does not want to fight. But when he realizes that the otters are not calming down, this primate picks up a stick. Orangutans not only belong to one of the most intelligent primates that can use tools, but also have strength. Get away from me, you impudence! The monkey doesn't seem particularly angry. Rather, she is annoyed by the audacity of the otters. In general, an orangutan is such a cute, retired special forces soldier. Yeah, he has already grown a small belly, looks lazy, and is always polite to his neighbors. But if you make him angry, he will immediately remember the past and break the legs of someone who allows himself too much. Like this. At first, the orangutan treats the monkey's pranks with patience and understanding. But when she abuses these advantages, the larger beast remembers that it can literally swatch the insolent. But still, this story is much more touching and amazing. These loggers are destroying an ancient rainforest. Maybe for the sake of increasing the area or the territory for crops. Maybe for the sake of mining. It doesn't matter. But what really matters is the feelings of the inhabitants of the ancient thicket. Yes, these animals have feelings too. Like the hero of a blockbuster on an environmental theme, the most ordinary lone orangutan stands against a huge bulldozer. The colossal size, relative to the primate, of a car with a metal bucket and a noisy engine should have caused an orangutan to have a real panic attack and drive him away from here. But this monkey is too smart for that. She shows everyone, you messed with the wrong lady. This resident of the jungle is not so easy to intimidate, and the orangutan goes out to fight against the bulldozer. Without hope or possibility of victory, just because that's her position. Yes, my friend, this red monkey has a public position formulated more clearly than most of those you see in your own hometown. But if you have experience fighting for wildlife conservation and eco-activism, then share it into the comments below this video. We would really love to hear your story. At the same time, the orangutan got as close as possible to the bucket to fight with him, like a knight with a terrible dragon. 
Although the primate cannot destroy metal, its very presence on this branch does not allow the builders to move on. Therefore, in a sense, the animal won. Well, or at least something that made you think about what is happening in the distant forests and jungles. The courage of this monkey motivates and inspires to join this fight, does it not? No, we are not calling to attack construction equipment. But you must admit, wildlife deserves to take care of it and protect its mysteries and unexplored corners from destruction. It seems that even the builders who worked in this place also felt the grief of the orangutan for the destroyed thicket, which was his home. It remains to be hoped that this brave animal is now alive, healthy, and has found a new home. At least, neither the bulldozer driver nor the other people did any harm to the primate. Interestingly enough, when an orangutan went out to fight against the bulldozer, he thought that he was facing a huge monster that was uprooting his forest. Or did the animal understand the role of man in this terrible destruction of the jungle and was just trying to show the bipeds that they would not be able to destroy everything here just like that? We can only guess. What do you think? When the mayor realized that the stallion did not understand and did not accept a rejection, she decided on a more explicit way to show that she did not like him. Namely, with the help of a knockout blow directly to the head. The stallion simply turned off from the impact of powerful hooves on the skull. Well, now perhaps he will behave more like a gentleman with women. The relationship between badgers and foxes is an example of an amazing interspecies friendship. Usually, but not this time. Two animals entered the territory of human habitation with the explicit purpose of finding something tasty. Well, the badger clearly understands. He's not as cute as the fox. And there are not enough treats for everyone. So, we'll have to show the redhead that we'll have to leave. Of course, it turned out to be brutal, but in fact, the fox simply underestimated the power of the badger. Their grip will surprise many. Remember in the film Guardians, there was a cool moment. The prisoners approached the arrested superhero to settle old scores. It all ended with an epic phrase. It wasn't me who was locked up with you, and it's you who are locked up with me. It wasn't me who was locked up with you. And it's you who locked up with me! Well, these hyena-like dogs made the same mistake as the bandits in the movie. They underestimated the enemy and decided that he was trapped. In fact, the gazelle that you see now is one of the few artiodactyls that are distinguished by a very determined character and a love of fighting. Perhaps these dogs thought that the gazelle had gone to the depths because of panic trying to escape. In fact, the ungulate lured predators to a place where they would have neither the opportunity to surround nor the advantage of a flat surface. And when the horned creature realized that the dog was carried away and believed in his victory, he turned into a crushing counterattack. The gazelle literally trampled the predator and almost drowned him. An object lesson for fellow humans who understood the essence of the situation in time and did not dare to pursue a higher animal at depth. The behavior of this gang of macaques does not cause any involvement. They really fancy themselves too strong and invulnerable to smaller otters. It seems that primates treat otters like toys. They shake the kids from side to side, sometimes even bang their heads on the rocks. Why would an animal that doesn't try to hunt do that? Out of curiosity or because of a violent nature? To be honest, it is extremely difficult to perceive all kinds of animals equally objectively and with equal sympathy. And it's not because some animals seem more beautiful. It's just that the habits of certain species are really associated with meanness and cruelty. Whereas surprisingly other animals behave nobly, at least by our human standards. 
Or do you think that it is unacceptable and irrational to evaluate the behavior of animals from the point of view of human views on ethics? Or vice versa, do you believe that animals can also be guided by good intentions, which means that there are also villains among them? Answer in the comments. Maybe you are equally more for hyenas and lions. If you are outraged by the behavior of these vile macaques, then now you will see that they underestimated their enemy. Maybe one otter is weaker than a primate, but altogether they represent a formidable force. Otters caught a macaque and threw it into the water, and then surrounded from all sides. From the sides, from below, from above, their sharp teeth were constantly wounded, bitten, looking for a gap in the defense. The macaque tries to fight back, but the otters in the water are too strong. It is much more convenient for them to act there. And the otters fight too harmoniously to be resisted. Although the macaque is trying to fight off a relative, he has no chance. The otters have dealt with the enemy and have shown that contacting them is the biggest mistake a monkey can make. Do you see a shark? Ah, oh, there she is. An invisible predator that plows the waters of the ocean like her ancestors millions of years before. Are you scared? She knows you're scared. But this sea lion is not the enemy on whose fear you can count. This mammal is not just not afraid of the shark, it attacks first and literally bites the huge fish, throwing it out of the water. For a sea lion, this shark, with all its size and powerful jaws, is just a hearty lunch. When a bully does not get rebuffed for a long time, he may believe in his own strength too much. This dog really thinks he can scare a bull, weighing almost a ton. This ungulate endured the stupidity of the opponent for a while, but then decided to teach it a lesson. And it did it in the most convincing way. With a kick that threw the dogs away and slammed it into the door jam. Now the little impudent dog will think several times on whom it is possible and on whom it is not possible to bark and rush. Archimedes said, Give me a fulcrum and I will move the earth. It is not known whether the bull of the work studied the biography of an ancient physicist, but the concept of Archimedes was embodied 100% here. During the enemy's attack, the bull went into defense, found a foothold, and took a crushing blow from the enemy with such fortitude that the bull literally did a somersault in the air and landed on his back. He himself is shocked by the acrobatic trick that he has just performed. But it must be admitted, he does not take stubbornness. The bull jumped up and continued the duel. Apparently, they didn't share something important. You know about the reputation of honey badgers, right? So these hyenas were clearly unaware and underestimated this kid. Of course, even against one hyena, the honey badger is like a gnome against a troll. And here hyenas are generally three against one. But neither the size of the enemy nor the numerical superiority does not bother our furious hero at all. He goes into battle and shows the hyenas where they belong, in a pile of garbage. Although the jaws of spotted predators can shatter bones, the honey badger not only has a strong hide, but also reacts to attacks with the speed of a bullet. As soon as the hyena tries to grab him, the honey badger immediately turns to her for a counterattack. The hyenas thought they had surrounded the enemy, but for the honey badger, this is not a problem. He easily spins around his axis and distributes such heavy blows that the hyenas can only run away from this little ball of rage. In addition to the fact that the skin of the honey badger is very durable, it also easily departs from the muscle tissue. Therefore, even if the hyena's teeth dig into the skin, it does not lead to any serious internal damage. The honey badger is just getting a little bit angrier and he uses not only jaws with needle-sharp teeth, but also his paws. 
With his claws, it seems he could dig a tunnel connecting New York with Los Angeles. And the hyena's skin, moreover, will not withstand too close of an acquaintance with these claws. The giraffe is the tallest animal on the planet. An adult can easily look into the window of a third floor story building standing near it. These ungulates became so tall in order to have access to the crown of savanna trees, which have juicy foliage only up at the highest altitude. But giraffes paid for such a growth with dexterity. They can run well, but a lion can easily catch up with a giraffe, especially if it is attacked from an ambush. That's exactly what happened here. Lioness has surrounded the giraffe and one of the cats has already jumped on the back of his neck. An incredibly tense situation. It seems that the poor ungulate will not last even a few minutes under such a frenzied pressure. Several lionesses hold the giraffe by the hind legs. Do not allow you to drop the burden while the bravest predator gets to the throat. An example of almost perfect teamwork. But the giraffe doesn't seem to care. He saves his strength and doesn't even seem to be trying to escape. The lionesses made a mistake with the victim. After some time, the cat, which was trying to get to the throat of the prey, just fell to the ground. The target was too high. And then the giraffe dispersed the opponents with powerful hooves. He may not be the most agile animal in the savanna, but one hoof strike is enough to crack a lion's skull. So the cats can only swallow the dust and go home disappointed in search of easier prey. And they were lucky enough to stay whole themselves after such an exhausting battle. Picture this, you are a solid and powerful lion who hunts bulls and protects his pride from a whole pack of hyenas. And then, as if out of nowhere, the most ordinary dog appears and chases you off like a yard cat. An offensive situation? Of course. No wonder the lions are trying to fight back and even deliver crushing blows. But the dog has caught the adrenaline rush and does not back down. Interestingly, the cases when a dog alone attacks a lion, or even a couple of lions, are not so rare. Big cats should not underestimate these toothy babies and calmly tolerate their approach. Even one dog can be a serious opponent. However, who knows? Maybe the lion is just afraid of catching something from such an opponent? He's obviously behaving like a madman. However, there is another version of why lions often retreat. The fact is that dogs know their opponent well. Therefore, they attack a vulnerable, that is a sensitive area, the nose. Yes, a lion or a lioness can deal with an annoying dog in less than a minute. But at the same time, they will definitely get a few sensitive bites. And why do they need it? It's better to retreat. Let's clarify one moment. This is not an adult strong kangaroo deciding to teach a teenager a lesson. These are representatives of two different species. The one that is larger is a real red kangaroo a powerful beast whose mass is approaching the weight of an adult. And this gray animal of more miniature dimensions is a wallaby. It is more than four times lighter and about half the size of a kangaroo. Although, of course, they are quite close relatives, as it is easy to understand due to the external similarity. At the same time, the kangaroo thinks that if it is bigger, then the wallaby will have to leave. But the gray kid doesn't agree and he is ready to demonstrate this disagreement in a fight. This fighter will give a lot of surprises to the kangaroo. The brazen marsupial underestimated its enemy and received a decisive rebuff. When a creature that is literally 200 times heavier than you approaches you, you involuntarily tense up, especially if there are several giants behind him. But this feathered fellow does not follow such obvious logic. This bird is not afraid. She scares the others. One sharp movement, and the cows are almost in a panic. It's amazing how much they underestimated this little opponent. 
wolves are considered one of the most successful predators on the planet for a reason. Even now, when cities have grown and forests have shrunk, they remain numerous and successful. Including thanks to a combination of intelligence and desperate courage. Here, several wolves become so bold that they enter the territory of a city in search of food. But the proud animals did not look for food in landfills. They found an adult Kengal. This is a special breed of dog, one of the strongest, bravest, and coolest in the world. One on one, Kengal may well, if he does not crack down, then at least stand up against a wolf. But there are several wild animals here and they understand that in front of them is an enemy who may be hunting them. Therefore, the smart wolves decided to eliminate him. The Kangal desperately fights back. This scene of this fight is incredibly tense. Powerful jaws and long fangs make the wolves cautious. The dog is also smart. He presses his back against the wall, finds a corner in which to hide. This is not fear or panic. It's just that the Kangal protects himself from the rear from encirclement. If at least one wolf could attack him from behind, the others would grab him by the paws, stretch the dog, and easily finish him off. And so they have to slowly push him and look for cracks in the defense. If the Kangal loses concentration even for a moment and succumbs to fear, the enemy's fangs will immediately go into his throat. It seems that the situation is hopeless, and everything will be resolved in a few minutes. Wolves are slow for only one reason. If the Kangal manages to injure at least one of them, the pack will become less effective at hunting. Therefore, wild predators try to minimize the risks. But the excitement will prevail sooner or later. The Kangal is more massive than some wolves, but loses to this gang. If you think that this was followed by a scene of brutal violence, then you're mistaken. The wolves underestimated the Kangal. He didn't just protect his back, he was stalling. Other dogs came running to the sound of barking. There are very few breeds in the world that will dare to fight wolves without a numerical advantage of at least one to three. The Kangals are just an exception. They are so brave and loyal to each other that they agree to an equal battle, three on three. The alignment changed when the reinforcements literally broke into the fight and attacked the wolves from the flank. Of course, the predators did not run without looking back. They also fought back and did not allow themselves to be seriously injured, but in this fight, they definitely lost. Now they need to flee the city and all the Kingals survived. And in case of injury, they have a host who will take care of them and cure them. For a seal, a killer whale is a real monster from the depths. With a huge difference in size and strength, the chances in battle are zero. But the seal still has one advantage. Millions of years ago, the ancestors of killer whales completely went into the ocean and lost the opportunity to return to land. But pinnipeds do not. The seal feels this, so it escapes from the black and white hunters on the ice flow. That's it, he's saved. Or is he? Unfortunately, at least for the seal, the pinniped underestimated its pursuers. Killer whales are incredibly intelligent and seem to be well-versed in physics. And thanks to echolocation, they not only know exactly where their prey is on the ice flow, but also how strong the barrier is in front of them. Thanks to the coordinated actions of killer whales, they send a wave to the ice flow and literally wash the victim back into the water. Jaws is already finishing the job here. This lion underestimated hyenas. She's obviously beaten them more than once before. But this time the lioness came too close to the den with cubs. That's why the whole pack came down on her. Hyenas surrounded the lioness and let her know that she had made a mistake in choosing enemies. We will show you other cases when animals make a similar mistake and pay for it. The bear is a powerful predator, and a couple of these animals are a small army that cannot be stopped. 
that's why they themselves thought when they broke into the territory of this house, the animals were wrong. A small projectile charged with pure rage burst out to meet them. The French Bulldog is 10 times lighter and smaller than bears, but its pressure causes a real shock to wild animals. Although the bear easily stopped the Bulldog with its paws, the dog was not afraid and continued the attack. It was able to get a good grip on the bears, and they decided that it was better to get out quickly rather than to fight with this little berserk. Most of all, the maneuverability of the short-legged dog is surprising, which not only ran between the paws of the bears, but also did not forget to apply short, painful bites. It's great to have such a defender. Why do you think the predators retreated? Perhaps they decided that the bulldog is rabid? Or were they really scared by the reaction of the dog, which turned out to be much more violent than the wild predators expected? Share your opinion in the comments. Elephants usually behave with restraint and nobility. They roam the savanna in search of food and avoid unnecessary violence. The rhinoceros is another matter. They are extremely easy to provoke into a fight, especially if we are talking about a female with a cub. Then the rhinoceros turns into a frenzied tangle of irritability, which is ready to rush at any animal for no reason at all. But attacking this elephant turned out to be a huge mistake. From a calm, phlegmatic man, this giant has turned into a fierce fighter who will easily sweep away anyone. The rhinoceros weighs about four tons, but the elephant is so strong that it easily throws off its opponent, knocks them to the ground, makes them trample on their own cub, and then almost drowns them. When they start telling you in self-defense courses that size is not the main thing, then show them this video. Pure power matters. Just ask the elephant. The Impala has no chance against a lioness. If she even hooks the gazelle with her claws, it will immediately fill it up. But the ungulate does not even give the predator a chance to do this. The gazelle takes off, and it seems that she will not have time to escape from the predator that has gained acceleration. But the Impala makes its most famous maneuver with lightning speed. It changes the direction of running at full speed and dodges the enemy. The gazelle's astute accuracy is worthy of a like, don't you think? Macaques are used to the fact that running up a tree is a universal way to avoid any problem. Is the hyena attracting? It doesn't matter. A couple of jumps and the spotted predator won't do anything to the primate in the crown. Can tigers climb trees? The macaque could only laugh. Heavyweights like lions or tigers do not have access to thin branches. I even feel sorry for the striped cat, which fell to the ground and was left without its lunch. But neglecting the leopard turned out to be a big mistake the last mistake in the life of this primate, who decided that running to the very top of the tree would save him. The leopard was so agile that he was able to run into the thinnest branches. And when the monkey tried to dodge his throw and jump to another branch, the cat did an acrobatic trick right in the air and grabbed its prey. At the same time, the predator turned out to be so strong that when he fell from the height of the third floor to the ground, it not only did not hurt him in any way, but he did not even let the prey out of his mouth. Even birds can't feel safe in nests at the top of trees. Birds build dens where the branches are too thin even for some snakes. But that will not stop the leopard. The cat is so agile that it seems as if she controls her weight, well, her gravity. The leopard should not be underestimated. An important life lesson for any bully. If you want to run over someone, even if the victim seems defenseless, think about it. Who were her friends? Maybe this chicken itself is not capable of giving the falcon a decent rebuff, but she's doing great with the ability to make friends. When the bird of prey attacks its victim, literally the whole farm rushes to help the chicken. Another chicken, without fear, rushed to attack the falcon, and then they were joined by a goat. 
a real heavyweight relative to a fairly small bird of prey. Altogether, they practically trampled the impudent falcon, who made a mistake with the choice of prey as never before. Such cohesion deserves respect, doesn't it? This is probably the most epic confrontation between two equal rivals that we have seen in recent times. The tiger decided to attack the bear. This idea will seem doubtful to you, but the tiger can't afford it. The world's largest panther has a pretty good chance of success. First of all, it is the experience of confrontation with those who are in the same weight category with him. Tigers bring down giant bulls and fight fiercely amongst themselves. So the desire to have lunch with a bear is not so strange. It's just that the tiger underestimated the will to live and stubbornness of a club-footed predator. The bear not only fought back, but began to fight back so fiercely that with every second of the duel, the tiger's chances only became less. At the same time, it must be recognized that the tiger correctly assessed its capabilities. He really had all the trump cards. Both of these animals are heavyweights, but the striped cat is still bigger. Both have effective combat tactics and fight mainly with their paws. And they use their fangs when they can pull the vulnerable part of the victim closer with their claws, for example, the muzzle. But the tiger is still cooler in this case. Both rivals have monstrous strength, but the tiger is stronger. However, for all its advantages, it struggles for lunch. And the bear is for life. Therefore, contrary to all calculations, it is the bear that comes out the winner. Yes, the tiger is alive and relatively intact, but the bear was able to defend himself and, as a result of a long and intense fight, forced the aggressor to retreat. If the lizard is in danger, it can throw back its tail and hide. But the raccoon is aware of this technique. He does not pay attention to the twitching tail of the reptile and grabs it. The lizard clearly underestimated the raccoon's ability to learn. The power of this charismatic animal with a cute mask on his eyes should not be underestimated either. This mistake was made by a wild cat. He thought that a well-fed baby with a fluffy tail would become a simple and satisfying prey. And it is not like that. The raccoon got angry and went into a brazen frontal attack himself. The cat has a hard time. He constantly wags, tries to get away from capture, and retreats. The raccoon is absolutely not afraid of the cat's counterattacks and continues to stubbornly go into battle, even if he is threatened with dangerous blows with claws. But the predator does not want to get into the jaws of a raccoon at all. But the most amazing thing is that when the wild cat has already turned to flight, the raccoon himself began to chase her. It's like saying, hey you, come here and do it again. Lads, where are you going? The case when the big guy ran into a not so big, but rapid fighter. The squirrel is a cute vegetarian rodent. A fluffy tail, red fur, a small muzzle with beautiful eyes, and the ability to take nuts with their front paws make them one of the most charming inhabitants of both city parks and wild forests. Well, squirrels have another advantage. If modern fashion psychologists are right about accepting the dark side, whatever that means, then squirrels are a model of success in this manner. After all, the charming, sweet, and kind squirrel has another side. This is a crazy berserk warrior who attacks everything he doesn't like. You surprised? It's true. A squirrel may be the first to attack to poison a snake, and this despite the fact that the reptile did not even try to bite the rodent. It's just that the squirrel doesn't like such company. But the snake is several times longer, and a single bite will be enough to stop the rodent's heart. Do you think this causes our furry hero any doubts? No, of course not. She simply tramples the snake into the ground with her furious pressure and speed. If a squirrel can cope with a nutshell with its teeth, 
then it will cope with a reptile skull all the more. The snake is just in shock. She clearly did not expect that she would face such a strong opponent in the face of this seemingly harmless squirrel. Fluffy can even pile on a cobra. At the same time, in battle, he also uses his front paws with which he can firmly grasp the target. The squirrel acts incredibly actively and moves from evasion to counterattack almost at lightning speed. It is difficult for the eye to keep track of the speed of movement of this fluffy fighter. A real feat for an animal that can fit into the palm of your hand. At the same time, the squirrel not only avoids the snake's attacks, but attacks itself. It's not running away. Clearly, she has plans for this reptile. Who knows, maybe when your parents took you out to the park to drive some squirrels, it wasn't a nice family tradition, but something of like a tribute. Oh, Mr. Squirrel, take these nuts, but don't touch us, please. You find that funny? And these snakes are not laughing. Underestimating a squirrel was the biggest mistake in the life of each of these venomous reptiles. However, after all, it is not invincible. This time, the squirrel underestimated the opponent. She thought she could easily confuse and escape from a feline predator. But they are not for nothing considered one of the most effective hunters. The beast rushes at the prey and catches it without any problems. It seems that these races were just fun. Do you feel sorry for a squirrel? Or are you rooting for a predator? Answer in the comments. When mongooses were brought to America to fight rattlesnakes, it turned out that Asian predators, which fight on a par with cobras, are inferior to American snakes in speed. Well, mongooses just had to learn from mice. More precisely, a kangaroo rat. Believe me, this rodent is really unusual and will be able to surprise you. It's probably a relative of the splinters rat. She quickly dodges the snake's throw not even once, but several times. Just to look at the height of her jump. If a person was capable of such feats, he could jump to the third floor of the house without a run and dodge a bullet. A mouse that can fit into the palm of your hand is able to instantly jump above the waist of an adult. Do you think that's all? No matter how, the mouse turned out to be so brave that she not only dodged another snake attack, but even hit her back. Even a karate champion is unlikely to repeat this feat. Get away from the blow and at the same time turn around in the air to hit the snake on the head with both feet. That is, a rodent can change the direction of movement right in the air and turn around for a really strong blow. The reptile is clearly in shock. In the future, it should be more careful to choose rivals. In slow motion, it can be seen that the blow stunned the snake and she did not even have time to close her mouth during the fall. After all, after the victory, the mouse also humiliated the snake when she drew a handful of sand directly into her eyes. In the eternal confrontation of cats and dogs, the advantage is almost always with dogs. They are usually heavier, more massive, and also know how to act as a team. Therefore, it seems that this cat does not have a single chance. Fortunately, at the last moment, he appears to be her superhero. One cat attacks a whole pack of dogs, and thanks to Rage and Claws, manages to literally defeat the enemy. The cat throws away dogs who don't want to feel his claws in their eyes. And when the dogs recovered a little and were ready to counterattack, the enemy had already disappeared with his beloved. A real knight. The mother cat is also capable of such feats. These dogs wanted to hurt her baby, well, they didn't know who they were messing with. First, the cat repelled the attack on the baby and then started chasing three dogs. But do not think that cats and dogs hate each other just because they belong to rival species. This cat witnessed how a strange dog attacked a dog that belongs to his family. This was a big mistake. The aggressor did not know that this cat is a real defender of the house. 
He crashed into someone else's dog with his whole body and saved his furry friend. An emu is a bird that looks funny, but in fact is on the list of the most dangerous birds on the planet. At first glance, she is not particularly impressive, but her physical form is enough to fight on equal terms with the largest predators. In order to work with emus, wildlife researchers need all metal shields. These birds are so devastatingly able to beat. But the main thing is their honest, pure, and inexhaustible love for fights. This one does not need to be provoked at all. He'll start pestering you himself. For him, any creation that he did not like in some way is a potential target. The emu doesn't even kick this sheep. Out of contempt for her, the bird just pecks at her head. And this emu is literally hunting a dog. Just look at how the bird hovers over its prey. The dog clearly did not understand what was happening. Some feathered monster appears, which looks into his eyes and runs after him with an obvious desire to break his skull. This is far from the only case. Although the emu is taller, the dog is heavier and theoretically stronger. But the bird doesn't care that they are in different weight categories. She wants to show that this dog's place is in the far corner of the kennel. It's better not to get caught in the eyes of an emu. The goose does not have huge claws and a sharp curved to beak like an eagle. It doesn't have the impressive dimensions of an ostrich or condor. But every goose is a real warrior at heart. This dog is not trying to harm the goose. On the contrary, he nobly keeps an aggressive bird because the owner's property must be protected. But the feathered one does not understand the good impulse of the dog. It goes on attack. And the goose doesn't care that it's an alibi, a shepherd dog that was bred to protect against wolves. The goose goes on the attack gets a couple of blows, but then gets up and rushes into battle again. It seems that he watched several episodes of Naruto and is now sure that the main thing in battle is not to give up. We don't know exactly what inspired this formidable bird, but although the dog has a clear advantage, the feathered approach is bearing fruit. The huge dog is retreating. He underestimated the stubbornness and unstoppability of an ordinary goose. Okay, but what about someone bigger? This goose is against his family being forced out of his favorite corner on the shore. That's why he's going to attack a whole herd of cows. Even one cow is a couple hundred times heavier and several orders of magnitude stronger than a bird. She could have trampled on him without a problem. And neither wing beats nor goose bites pose a serious threat to these ungulates. But despite these facts, cows cannot displace a goose. It is he who attacks them and drives them away. Amazing, his female just stands there and watches her partner easily scatter huge opponents. And why interfere? She's already sure of him. And you know what? She's right. The goose boldly goes into battle into the hoofed giant retreat. They are trying to counterattack the brazen bird but its pressure is stronger than a stone wall. In vain, they underestimated their opponent. It seems that the whole life of a goose is a futile search for a worthy opponent. Look at this brave bird. She's chasing two tigers. Cats are shocked by the bravery of this feathered terminator. That's when arrogance really saves a life. Each of these striped goons could have dealt with the goose with one blow but the bird spreads its wings and goes on the attack. The tigers can only retreat. They are afraid of such pressure because they think that the power of the feathered impudent is much greater than it is. It is not necessary to take an example from a goose, but in a critical situation, self-confidence and fortitude can really save where there is not enough physical strength. With powerful blows of the wings, the bird stuns its enemy, making him tremble and no one will want to meet with the tenacious beak of the goose. It's funny. It turns out that when the tigers decided to attack the goose, they first underestimated it 
and when they began to retreat in panic, they overestimated. Have you ever had similar stories in your life? Share them in the comments. Finally, the goose has found a worthy opponent. You will be shocked, but the only animal that could fight back against this feathered avenger is an elephant. Yes, you got it right. You need to be literally the largest land animal in the modern world to give a decent fight to an ordinary goose. These two opponents are worthy of each other. Just look at these titans fight. The goose goes to it and attack the elephant, but unlike tigers and other large animals, our hero withstands this pressure and counterattacks himself. He puts his trunk into action and then even turns his back to the enemy. It's probably some kind of karate kick. Amazing skill on both sides. Here is a case when both animals underestimated their enemy, but neither of them began to retreat. This fight looks funny. A multi-ton elephant is trying to gore a goose, which an adult could lift with one hand without any problems. But we already know what these birds are like in business. The courage of an elephant causes genuine respect, don't you agree? By the way, there is some kind of mutual respect between the rivals. It's like they're at a tournament and want to show off their entire arsenal. Well, or the elephant just wants to finally find a way to drive this crazy bird out of its territory. Crocodiles like to ambush, but this warthog clearly noticed the predator in time. And when the reptile made a dash, the boar easily dodged the bite, jumped over the enemy, and ran away. The crocodile is in shock, but at least he remained in the status of a predator. The crocodile clearly considered himself a real monster, which everyone in Africa is afraid of. No, not all of them. Here's the best illustration for the words. Boy, you came to the wrong area. Huge hippos literally pulled the crocodile out of the water and started kicking it like a soccer ball. For them, he is not a predator, but a victim. Do you also not like it when someone steals food right out of your plate? Well, we are against violence, but we must admit that this rhino knows how to protect personal borders. When the boar did not heed the first warning, he received an unusual flight experience instead of a portion of fresh grass. The rhino did not finish him off. He just taught a spectacular and obviously effective lesson when he launched the boar up with one powerful blow. Pelicans are still robbers. Usually, they really feed on fish, which they elegantly catch on the fly in their huge beaks, scooping up water. And in this way, a pelican can even catch a shark. But also, the bird will be happy to have a snack, for example, a gaping pigeon. Apparently, close communication with the main coastal gangsters, that is the seagulls, has done its job. Pelicans got bad and started robbing. But this bird was clearly mistaken in the choice of prey. Do you know what this capybara had to do to escape from the feathered aggressor? Absolutely nothing. The pelican approached its imaginary victim several times, but could not do any damage to it. It couldn't even lift it. By the way, if you want to learn more about these charismatic animals with nerves of steel, then write about it in the comments. It seems that the rodent looks at the pelican as if it were garbage. The bird's attacks were nothing more than a light massage for this well-fed and cute animal. Now the pelican will be tormented by complexes. His opinion of himself as a formidable predator was simply trampled. Any boxer will confirm that timing is very important in a fight. That is, choosing the right moment to strike. While this turtle is doing great with timing, when a horse shows unhealthy curiosity, the reptile goes on the defensive, and then at the only appropriate moment, strikes. That is, a bite with a sharp beak. Neither a large dog running to the noise, nor the continuation of the horse's attack produces any effect on the turtle. 
but when she counterattacks, her lightning strike causes panic in the animals, dozens of times larger. Just look at the panic this reptile has brought its rivals to. It seems that we have finally found a fighter for whom the difference in size is not an obstacle to worry. I wonder if this turtle could bring an elephant to a heart attack? What do you think? Answer in the comments. Never approach a horse from behind. This can threaten the most unpleasant consequences. Don't you believe it? Then learn from the mistakes of others. The lion has decided to ignore this lesson and received a double blow with her hooves right in the jaw. Instead of lunch, her hunt ended with a knockout. How dramatically she fell. The powerful blow of the zebra just turned off the predatory cat. To be in the jaws of a crocodile for most animals is a terrible end. For this turtle, here she resembles a girl on a bad date. She's just waiting for it to be over, and he'll get the hell out of there, and she can enjoy the dinner she ordered. The crocodile clearly did not impress her. He is not capable of swallowing such a large turtle whole. And although the compression force of his jaws is huge, and the shell easily withstands all his onslaught. It seems that the turtle leaves even with a kind of contempt. What, Jack, is that all you're capable of? I expected more. The crocodile is also in shock. His jaws didn't let him down before, but what was it Stark said? Sometimes it happens. Once out of five, right? In general, it is better not to mess with turtles. They are often underestimated by other animals. But it seems that the myth of their slowness is nothing more than a competent strategic move. They simply lulled the vigilance of potential victims. Like this pigeon, which did not expect a lightning-fast reptile throw. As a result, the turtle caught a bird for lunch. In general, it turns out that the turtle is one of the toughest fighters in the world of wildlife, who are regularly underestimated. This duck was swimming with the chickens when a carnivorous turtle decided to attack one of them. An adult bird immediately stood up for the baby, and this is quite natural. But she made a mistake when she ran into a turtle in a frontal attack. Although the reptile is much smaller, its beak turns out to be so strong that the turtle immediately grabs the opponent and shakes it like a rag. The baby was able to escape, because the turtle switched to his mom. Drowning a duck is a very difficult idea to implement, but the turtle turned out to be a stubborn and cruel one. She shook the bird and did not let it go for so long that the duck ran out of strength. And she could not oppose anything to such a protected opponent. The bird probably survived and was able to reunite with his family. But she will remember this fight forever. Turtles are avid fans of fighting. This reptile is not trying to eat the dog. There is too much difference in size. A turtle doesn't hunt a huge snake. She just sees someone who annoys her and rushes into battle. It seems that these reptiles can sometimes forget even about hunger and throw food in order only to teach the enemy a lesson. They say that a samurai has no goal, only a path. Oddly enough, this is just about a turtle. If you think that her shell is needed in order to calmly wait out the danger, sit out, and then go about your business, then you are mistaken. Apparently, the turtle feels his impunity thanks to the armor. Therefore, he goes to attack cows. But for a turtle, these ungulates are like Godzilla for you. And nothing the reptile does not show a drop of fear. Or maybe she's just an evil creature. But in any case, her fighting fuse is respected. Although the turtle doesn't have long fangs, its beak is as powerful as a war hammer. Even the lion is shocked by the impudence of the turtle, which was the first to attack him. It seems fantastic, but the turtle, furious with its pressure, drove away a huge lion from the water which is 200 times heavier. Hopefully after what you've seen, you won't accuse the Beast King of cowardice. Perhaps some of his battle scars are not the claws of other lions, 
but the teeth of such small monsters. There was no need to underestimate this Wu Wei. Do you remember what happened to Tai Lung? It seems that the creators of that cartoon understand zoology much better than it seems at first glance. By the way, about Kung Fu. Which style is cooler, tiger or crane? If you were on the side of striped cats, then we have a surprise for you. The feathered creature turned out to be a really cool fighter. Clearly, Chinese masters were inspired by such episodes when they created their martial art. At first, the bird tried to retreat because it wanted peace and harmony. But if the opponent does not share these values, he can be punched in the face. Iron logic, which allowed the crane to survive and even feel quite comfortable in the same enclosure with two adult tigers. Flapping blows with huge wings cannot cause serious damage to predators that weigh a quarter of a ton each. But they distract so that the crane can deliver a powerful blow with its beak directly to the head, like a sword. Makakes only seem like cute harmless beggars. These primates will fight fiercer for their food than wolves. Here is a fairly large dog decided that he could take away a tasty morsel with a small makake. He underestimated her greed in the team spirit of the pack. Among themselves, these animals will fight for every piece, but if an external threat appears, they will attack it all together. So the dog had to fight off several macaques at the same time. The dog is well done. He was able to escape from the encirclement of enemies whole and alive. This is already an achievement, but he will not underestimate the enemy so much anymore. The polar bear is the largest land predator of our time among all mammals. On its hind legs, this monster can rise more than 10 feet above the ground, three meters. And some males, according to unconfirmed reports, can reach a mass of about a ton. If the prey has fallen into the clutches of a polar bear, it has almost no chance. Huge pinnipeds, which are capable of destroying cars, panic at the sight of this predator. For him to attack a herd of sea elephants is like going to the supermarket for you. The polar bear is not afraid of the cold. It's the cold that's afraid of the polar bear. But it turns out that loyalty to your master can work real miracles. This dog is big and strong, but for a polar bear, he is like a bicycle to a truck. A larger predator can simply trample such an opponent. But what is it? The dog found the bear's only weak spot and clung there. It turns out that the nose of a predatory giant is a very sensitive place. It is not covered by a th either a thick layer of adipose tissue or fur. Therefore, when the dog clung to it with his fangs, it stopped even such a huge thing. That's when the bear underestimated his enemy and messed with the wrong guy. You can't blame him either. Who would have expected such cool combat data from a dog? This is an extra class fighter. Self-confidence, concentration, and skill are the three pillars on which the successful tactics of any fighter rests. Look at these rodents. It turns out they're like hobbits. Well-fed and pleasant at first glance, but formidable fighters if necessary. Their endurance can only be envied. Look at this epic confrontation with the lynx. It seems that in front of you is an ancient warrior with the bearing of a real officer. Pay attention to this aristocrat's posture. It's so cold and contemptuous to look into the face of danger when you are attacked by a whole pack of dogs. That's endurance. But it turns out that this is not the desperate calm of a creature that is ready for its end. It's part of the real battle tactics. The dogs underestimated the enemy. It turned out that the baby spread his paws and puffed out his chest in a, such a way that he reacted with lightning speed to any attempts to throw himself off balance. As soon as the dogs turn from intimidation to active actions and pounce on the baby, the rodent does not give up, but goes on a counterattack. No one expected such fury from him. 
These dogs clearly underestimated the enemy, who turned out to be a real warrior. Just look at how desperately he fights back. And at the same time, the baby acts prudently and effectively. But as for his size, the dog is like a huge wolf from that movie about Thor, remember? How would you react to the approach of such a monster? This beautiful chase looks incredibly epic. The hare is faster than wolves, but they also have great speed. And they are trying to drive the victim. Wolves are able to act amazingly smoothly. The hare thinks that he has almost escaped from the trap, but falls almost into the mouth of a predator. Only incredible maneuverability allows the hare to slip almost out of the predator's fangs. If the wolves were saved, then what is a lynx? A lone predator capable of. It turns out that the hare underestimated the opponents and paid for it. He didn't know that the pads of lynx paws worked like snowshoes. Thanks to this advantage, the cat managed to catch up with the victim. About 60 years ago, people were a little surprised by a photo in which the artist Salvador Dali was walking a tame anteater. But now we know. It was not a quirk of a creative personality, but a subtle calculation. Because one anteater is worth three Dobermans in battle. Surprisingly, these clumsy at first glance animals are real bullies who are only happy to fight for any reason. If this is the first time you've heard about it. Well, for many other animals, this is also a surprise and a very unpleasant one. It is obvious from the name of the animal that the anteater feeds on ants and termites, that is, insects that live in large colonies and build huge nests. This is what his elongated head with an incredibly long sticky tongue is adapted for. But many people overlook the fact that getting involved with ants is in itself a task for someone with very strong nerves. Have you ever fallen on an anthill and felt dozens of painful bites in the most sensitive places? Well, for an anteater, this is an ordinary Tuesday. But the main thing is that in order to dig underground colonies, these animals have incredibly strong and large clawed paws. Of course, the excavator is a construction equipment. But can you imagine what would happen if an ordinary moped crashed into him? Then you can imagine what will happen to some medium-sized predator if an anteater's paw crashes into it. Here, the dogs do not behave very decisively as they see the anteater for the first time. But even a small individual is able to scare off a large dog with its iron character and strange stance. Do you think the kid was lucky? No, the dog was lucky to retreat in time. Here, everything turned out differently. A jaguar, one of the largest predators on the planet, capable of hunting caimans and anacondas, lay quietly in the thickets. But the anteater doesn't care. He's in the mood to punch someone in the face. The jaguar is coming. The cat clearly underestimated the threat and did not immediately realize that it was best to run and climb a tree somewhere. Therefore, the anteater gets a great chance to come up to a close distance and hit the jaguar several times so that the cat is simply shocked by these cuffs. Finally, the jaguar tries to counterattack. He pounces on the anteater and knocks him to the ground. But for this animal, such a blow is like a friendly hug. It seems that this strange animal enjoys such a warm-up. In the end, the jaguar simply has no chance but to run far away. The anteater has a very strong high and jet fur that works like dynamic armor. But his main weapon is a special combat tactic. The anteater can strike single blows with its huge claws if it wants to attack. But he defends himself. He rises on his hind legs. Then the tail of some species can serve as a balancer. In this stable position, the anteater can stand for a very long time. And most importantly, it is able to spin around its axis, so it is almost impossible for at least one enemy to approach it from behind. 
and from this rack, he delivers a crushing blow with his claws. The anteater's claws are combined into one huge stable blade. The animal strikes in a wide arc, using a swing that enhances the already enormous power of claws accustomed to digging. In the Middle Ages, plate armor began to be made to protect against enemies' swords. In a direct blow, more than one blade could not penetrate it. Then the knights began to use powerful war hammers, which on the one hand had a shock part, and on the other, a spike. This thorn opened the enemy's shell like a tin can. So the anteater's blows work about the same way, like a medieval spiked hammer. At the same time, the animal does not strike single blows, but beats fast boxing series. And even that's not all. An anteater can grab an enemy, hook it with its claws, hold it up, and bend it under itself. After that, he will begin to trample and tear it with his claws, while the victim is defenseless under its weight. Perhaps this funny scene is an example of what an error in the evaluation of the opponent means. Some birds are so cool that even the bars for them are not a hindrance. As they say, a truly free person remains so even locked up. That's how this predator is. He was having a quiet lunch when a passing bird decided that he could take away his threat and nothing would happen to her for it. Mistake, the predator blocks the victim's head with the lightning movement. The thief will definitely remember this lesson. Koalas give the impression of cute and lively plush toys with the same gentle character. Well, this individual is clearly not like that. She cruelly throws off a relative from a tree who somehow did not please her. The crying of an offended koala is heartbreaking. Well, let this be a lesson. Do not judge a koala by stereotypes like a book by its cover. In general, it is impossible for stereotypes about animals to make you forget about vigilance. This chicken thought that the giant above her was a good-natured vegetarian, a stereotypical mistake. For some strange reason, this particular horse suddenly wanted to eat chicken, and she started literally vacuuming the ground in search of chickens. The chicken is in shock. He just doesn't know what to do. She is not able to protect the young from this giant, and she will not be able to collect and evacuate the chickens in time, because they are too scattered. As a result, the horse has diversified its menu quite well. Which case, when the animals made a mistake in choosing an opponent, struck you the most? Share your opinion in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe. We have a lot of unusual things that we would love to show you.